So yesterday I was on Instagram and I shared with you guys that my next video was going to be a deep clean of my kitchen. However, I immediately went to my fridge to grab something and I realized what a state of emergency my fridge is in. So we're actually going to start with just a fridge deep clean today because that in itself is an entire video and deserves an entire video because it is that bad. The rest of my kitchen honestly doesn't even come close to the clutter that is inside of this here fridge. So last night I made a quick trip down to Target and I got a whole bunch of bins. Hopefully I have enough for what I'm going to be needing in here, but I have never had an actual organized fridge. Like everything is usually just kind of like the milk goes here and this goes here, but it's never really been organized. And I've always been very envious of people that have really OCD organized fridges. So we're hoping that after today, it can stay like that. I've never had an organized fridge as far as like things specifically go in one area. It's always kind of a free for all. However, I don't think it's ever looked this bad. So I thought, well, maybe it's time. Maybe now that it looks as bad as it does, I should finally get this thing organized. So the first thing I think I will do is just move out well, probably everything, but I don't think I'll move everything out at once. Maybe I will start here with the doors and then clean things, do a deep cleaning of all of these containers on the fridge. I'm just gonna give you a quick tour of the clutter just so you can see how bad it really is. And that is gross. I think there's some expired strawberries down in there. Um, this last weekend was my boy's birthday and someone stuck a gallon of milk in here, like they opened the fridge, don't know which kid it was, uh, and put it in upside down and it had, there was milk everywhere and I thought I got it, but it looks like I got some crunchy pieces of milk still right here. So we'll definitely be cleaning that. I cannot find anything in this fridge. Like this is ridiculous. I did just do a big shopping, so that doesn't help, but I hate having to, like move stuff around to find something in the fridge. And when you can't physically see everything in your fridge, that's when things get expired. I'm just going to be going through all of the condiments that were in the door and I'm just deciding what I want to be left in the door. I found a lot of expired things, a lot of double of things, um, and then also things that will just be going back in the fridge in a different spot. So the things that I want to leave in the door, I'm keeping in one section and then everything else I'm just kind of putting on another table or throwing away. All right, this is what I have left over for what I want to be in the door. I do have some food over here that will go in the fridge in a different spot, but as far as the door goes, this is what will be in here. Actually, no, that's still good. Um, so now I'm just gonna dry these off and then clean the inside of the door so I can start putting some of this food back in the fridge and then work on the shelf. I'm just taking a hot soapy rag to wipe everything down. I find that when I'm wiping things down in the fridge, hot soapy water 
for me anyway, is the best way to get stuff out of the fridge. When I try to use like spray, I feel like it just freezes and it doesn't really do anything. So hot water is the trick I use. The back of the fridge <laughs> the very back I just my phone was on silent I didn't know you were calling me so this is really funny because last night for dinner Thomas was looking everywhere for the soy sauce he's like I just bought some I know we have it in here somewhere and he searched forever and never found it and it was at the very back of the fridge so like I said when you have everything out in the open things don't expire and you don't lose anything Look at that in there. I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's sticky. I don't know what, that's like rotten milk. I'm just grossed out. So now I'm going to take all the shelves out, clean all of the shelves, then put the drawers back in, and then we will get to the fun part, which is organizing. So I don't know if you can tell here, but there was a vegetable sticker that was stuck to the front of this drawer and nothing would get it off. So I whipped out my pink stuff and of course that helped. 
Um, if you've never heard of this stuff before, I will have a link in my description box where you can order it. It is the best stuff in the entire world. It gets permanent marker off of walls like with one easy swipe. Basically, if you can't get something off of something, this pink stuff will be the magic. It gets sticky things off and it also helps remove anything that's permanent or that you think is permanent. It will help wipe that away too. Don't ask how, I just realized this shelf still has the tape on it when we bought it. <laughs> I have cleaned these so many times, I don't know how I've missed. This still has some blue tape on it. Now I'm just going to be putting everything into bins. So the majority of these are from Target. Like I said, I think I mentioned that earlier, but all of these that you're looking at right now are from Target. And I just kind of guessed, like I wasn't sure the size of my fridge, where everything was going to fit. So, so I kind of felt like it was a game of Tetris where I was just trying to figure out. You'll see some of this stuff I end up having to move just so I can fit something else in the fridge. Anyway, these are from Target. Anything with the lid though was from Walmart. So that's really basically the difference, Target and Walmart. And then my egg carton was also from Target. What I'm going to be doing is when I come home from the grocery store and I fill up my bins with like my lettuce or my spinach or my salad, whatever it is, I'm going to write with a dry erase marker the expiration date. So anyway, that's my plan when it comes to putting like vegetables or fruit into bins is to put the expiration date just on the Tupperware. Something I've never done before, but I think is a really good idea is to wash all of my fruit beforehand because I feel like my kids are more likely to eat it if it's like ready to be eaten right then and they can easily grab it out of the fridge without my help. So anyway, this makes my life a little bit easier than having to wash things multiple times is to just do a one time wash.
there's like exactly enough for 10. Obviously you can double stack them. That is so weird. Huh. A few things I added in here is some turkey lunch meat. That's one thing I feel like always goes bad in our fridge because it's exposed to air. So I thought I would just get these little tiny Tupperwares and write the expiration. And because they're two different meats, I have them in separate containers. Okay, so we decided to put our meat in one of these drawers just because it's gross looking and I don't really love having it up on the top shelf. And since we're putting all of the fruits and veggies up here, then we really don't have room for meat. So I thought the drawer is a great place to store all of that. And then down here, we just have some random things. So we have this container full of all of our cheeses and then some shredded lettuce. And we rarely have mozzarella cheese, so I'm not gonna get a container just for that. And I wanna find something to put asparagus in because we always have that. I just don't know if we have that much room I'm sure maybe I could put put it in something right here, but our fridge, I feel like it's very small compared to typical fridges. Maybe just because it's a single door. And any of the videos I've watched of deep cleaning your fridge, they always have like a double door. So it looks a lot bigger, but we don't have a ton of space. However, I feel like, look, we have an empty shelf there. This is pretty empty. And then we have our milk right here and then just all of our condiments. And then I have always kept butter, string cheese, and hot dogs. I don't know why. That is what we keep in this shelf. And so it's easier for me to just leave it as it is than to put them somewhere else just because I always expect that food to be right there. Here is the final after. I think it looks so much better. It doesn't give me anxiety when I open the door anymore and things don't fall out of the fridge. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. Okay, so here is a little before and after. I always like to see these at the end of any kind of transformation video, just as a reminder of what it looked like before and a quick show of what it looks like now. So I hope that this inspired you in some way to get organized and get that spring cleaning done. There will be a ton more spring cleaning videos that will be coming out soon, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't yet hit that red subscribe button, make sure you do that and we will see you guys in the next video. Shimmer on our skin. Restore.